Hello again, boys and girls. Let's get back on with our egg resilience experiment. Remember how one egg was soaking in water and one egg was soaking in vinegar? Let's see if we manage to make one of them more resilient. Now Hans, can you please take the egg out of the vinegar? Thank you, Hans. As you can see, it looks the same on the outside. Let's see what happens when we drop it now. Hans, can you please drop the egg? Look at that. It bounces. Amazing. It's become resilient. The vinegar, which is acetic acid, has reacted with the calcium carbonate of the eggshell, causing the shell to become soft and disappear. This is called decalcification. Now let's take a look at that egg that was in the water. Hans, please drop the other egg. Oh, oh no, what a mess. That egg wasn't resilient at all. You know, boys and girls, we can all learn something very important from this experiment. Being resilient is being able to bounce back and not fall into a heap when something goes wrong. Just like the egg soaking in vinegar became resilient, we can become resilient too. Not by soaking in vinegar, of course, but by soaking in Jesus' love and asking Him to help us handle things that go wrong. We don't want to splatter like the egg that was soaking in water. So, boys and girls, ask Jesus today to give you the power to become resilient. Spending time with Jesus, praying and reading the Bible will help to change us, just like the vinegar changed the egg to become more resilient. Thank you for watching, boys and girls. My name is Professor I.R. Weiss, and I will see you next time. Now Hans, could you please go and clean up the floor? No, 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 not drop some more!